I spend Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with the relief. And on Monday and Tuesday, I help the homeless in, in Brooklyn. I feed them breakfast. That way, the only day I have really to myself is Sunday, which is good for me. Because idle time with me gets me in trouble. You gotta start somewhere. I'm on the street, so why not feed them too? Homeless folks want to contribute just like anybody else. And so we wanted to carve out space in our program for homeless folks to actually serve with us. And it's been an incredible program. I can't wait for you to meet several of the folks who are volunteering with us today who are experiencing homelessness themselves and just showing so much resilience and generosity. And they inspire me every single day. City Relief is a mobile outreach program that takes a hot meal, emergency supplies like socks, toiletry kits, masks, and other uh, emergency felt need items to friends who are experiencing homelessness or don't have access to those items. We set up a pop-up event eight times a week throughout the New York City metro area. Uh, we invite our friends to, to come and hang out with us, but we also have trained staff on site and community partners who join us to create a one-stop shop experience for our guests. Without partners, we are a bridge to nowhere. And so while we can provide soup and socks and you know a compassionate smile and friendship, we understand there are other organizations in the city that are providing essential services, connections to housing, and long-term support. And so we can be the point of contact for our guests who come for our services, but also get access to legal assistance, medical care, and case management. Hi, how are you? So I started off in the kitchen and then I came out here and I did, you know, serve some hot chocolate. And now I do life care so that um, connecting with our guests, seeing how we can help them, how we can get them connected to resources. Um, this morning, you know, there's someone who needed shower and health care, you know, however we can help. How long have you been homeless? I'm homeless for, for two years. The relief is good. I got nice people here. And New York is kind of like tough. It's kind of hard to be homeless. It's hard to live in a shelter. And it's hard to live in the street. Homelessness in New York City is a very interesting beast. Uh, some estimate that there's around 80,000 people who experience homelessness in the five boroughs, uh, the vast majority of which are sheltered um, because New York City is a right to shelter city. Uh, unfortunately, it is not a right to housing city. So the shelters, while they provide emergency beds, uh, are not always the safest, cleanest, most dignifying experience. So many of our guests opt to sleep outside or sleep on the subway because they don't feel safe going into the shelter system. It was, it was hard. They sent me to the shelter on 30th Street. And then from there, I went from there all the way to 110th Street in Harlem. And then from there, back to the, the original shelter on the 30th Street. I spent the night there thinking that I was gonna get housed in Manhattan. They ended up sending me all the way out to Ozone Park, Queens, which I never even heard of. When they sent me to that shelter, I got there at four o'clock. I had to literally sit there until after 10 o'clock to get a bed. I'm talking about in the middle of the night. So if they didn't have a bed, it was just like, all right, well, come back tomorrow. And what would I have done? I know what I would have done. I, my first joint was like when I was like 14 or 13. I'm 57. You know, I've been, I've been getting high for a minute. But I started getting high on the hard drugs when I turned 35. And that's when I met him. This you guy know? works his butt off, man. He, 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 when I first met him, mm -hmm. he had walked two hours <laughs> to get to our base of operations and asked for help. And I was like, anyone who's willing to walk two hours for the chance of getting yeah. help mm -hmm. I is, with it, is, is determined and ready and ready. You know, it gave me opportunities, put it that way, to get myself straightened out. Someone's got to show love to these people, you know? They need love too. I got over here from Dallas, Texas in October of 2021, and I've been looking for a home uh, ever since then. I've been in a shelter in, uh, for the past two months and I actually just found one. Today will be my first day. Um, I just got uh, approved into a home for veterans in, uh, in New Jersey. So I've been uh, in the program in their peer, City Relief's Peer Empowerment Program uh, since about November. 
and uh, coming out here volunteering and you know helping other homeless people because uh, you know I know how I know what it feels like and I wouldn't want anybody else to ever um, have that feeling you know to, that they're hungry or they need clothes or they don't have anywhere to sleep and you know uh, it's it's a, actually an honor to be out here um, helping these people because anybody can fall into a situation like this. Homelessness can literally impact everybody and anybody. Uh, I've met people out here uh, who were business owners. I've met people out here who are ex-professional athletes. Um, I've met people who just lost their job uh, and didn't have a backup plan or a safety network around them to catch them as they, as they fell. So really homelessness can an impact and does impact everybody. Uh, and so that's why everybody has a responsibility to do something about it. I started volunteering because a friend asked me to. Um, I went reluctantly because I'd never spoken to a homeless person in my life, I'm ashamed to say. Um, but it was just, you know, and any other people, really positive, really grateful. And now I've been going um, every Saturday in the Bronx for over a year. Volunteering for, you know, the relief company is not only keeping me clean, it's keeping me away from the police in areas that I would normally be going to. 62 days. 62 days, man. There's no... It's hard, it's hard man. I didn't go to no detox or none of that. I kicked to myself. And it made me real irritable, he'll tell you. <laughs> I was calling him every... I was calling him every five, ten minutes, man. It wasn't for them. I got kidding him. I haven't cried in such a long time, man. They had me breaking down in the office for a whole bunch of people, man. And I just lost it for a minute, man. It wasn't for this guy here, right here. I think I would probably either be, I'd probably be like high or dead. <laughs> so the bottom line for me is that nobody chooses to be homeless. Um, and since the pandemic, homelessness nationally has gotten worse. So we need to do something. We have to engage this issue on a national scale. We have to provide access to housing. Uh, we have to shift from a shelter first model to a housing first model. And we have to just acknowledge the humanity of our homeless neighbors by seeing them, acknowledging them, recognizing that we are all, you know, one or two bad strokes of luck away from being in their same situation. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing, please get engaged in the issue um, to fight homelessness and provide housing to our low income neighbors. If you're interested in the work that we are doing here at City Relief, go to cityrelief.org. You can find ways to volunteer, to donate, and to learn more about the work that we're doing.